more and more RV companies are recognizing that families want to travel and want to travel for longer periods of time. And so the market is answering that. So you actually can find a lot of really cool floor plans and models out there for your family. Okay. Welcome to another day at the North household. If you're new here, I'm Megan and my husband is Mike. We have nine kids. Uh, a couple of years ago, we took a year off and decided to travel full time in an RV around the United States. And it was the best year of our lives. And then the year after that, we went to Europe, traveled around, it was amazing as well. Now we're back in the States, living in a house, but we miss our RV. So we're gonna share with you some amazing models that we find here that work really well for families. So Yay. let's go check it out. Okay. Do this yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, before we get started, we're going to tell you about three different types of RVs. There are motorhomes, travel trailers, and fifth wheels. A motorhome is anything that you're driving and being in the RV at the same time, right? So that would be a Class A or a Class C. A Class A is the big bus type. Class C is a smaller, more of a truck body. Then we've got fifth wheels. Fifth wheels hook into the back of your truck. And what's awesome about fifth wheels and why a lot of families choose them is that they have a lot of space in them. They have really high ceilings, so they're a great option. But you do have to own a truck. And so if you have more than a few kids, you might have to drive separate cars or you might not choose to have a fifth wheel. And the third type, and what we're probably most interested in right now is a travel trailer. A travel trailer can is something you just bumper pull. And so you can pull it behind a van, which is something we'd be interested in doing on this next round of RV travel. We love RVs and so we'll probably be touring a lot of them today. Um, it's just so fun to see how you can take such a small space and utilize it so well and fit so many people in it. Um, a lot of RVs are built for, you know, Maybe an older couple but that's changing more and more RV companies are recognizing that families want to travel and want to travel for longer periods of time and so the market is answering that so you actually can find a lot of really cool floor plans and models out there for your family okay here's our first family model this one sleeps eight so it's not quite big enough for our family but I think with some modifications you could make it work this is a prime time tracer breeze 31 BHD so we're gonna show you around one of the things we really like about it is that it doesn't have an island now, I love islands in a regular stick and brick house, but I feel like it uses up a lot of your floor space, and in an RV, floor space is really, really important, something you're always looking for. So we like that about this one. So we're gonna show you around and do a quick tour of the RV. actually sleeps 10 it's the coachman spirit 2973 B 2963 BH 2963 BH um, it's got a really nice outdoor kitchen and then it has another cool feature back here it's got this back door and I think this is for pets so that you can let them out easily that's kind of a cool idea but why don't we take you inside and show you around
Okay, so we're gonna take a look at a fifth wheel that sleeps eight. And you're gonna immediately see the difference between fifth wheels and travel trailers because right here alone, a fifth wheel is huge. And so that's awesome because you've got, you can use it for storage, but just also it makes the space feel so much bigger to have all that height. And then also, fifth wheels also have a lot of storage in the bottom, so. This storage goes all the way through, and so you can fit a ton of stuff in there, which if you're traveling with kids, that's important. Strollers, wagons. All right, so this is the Grand Design Momentum 381M. It's a toy hauler, which toy haulers are awesome because you can reconfigure them and they can take a lot of weight. So that's also really important when you're looking for a family RV. You want to make sure that if you want to add things to it, furniture or beds, that it can handle the extra weight. So let's go inside. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna show you a really cool model. This is actually a motorhome or a Class A. It's the Winnebago Intent 31P. What's cool about it is that it actually sleeps eight. Now, obviously that's not big enough for us, but it is for a lot of families. And it's a really good price at the retail, $80,000. You have to really think about it. If you're gonna do a truck and a fifth wheel, a lot of times you're gonna be getting close to that or going well over that with those two things. So let's go and check it out. Okay, we're gonna show you another motorhome for families. This one also sleeps eight, but what it's got is the double slide. And so what that means is there's a slide on each side of the RV that will pull out and give you a ton of floor space when you're parked. Now, if you're all in there together, those slides are in when you're driving, so it's not gonna be quite as roomy. But I really like the configuration of this one. I think it doesn't waste any space in the kitchen, and it's got really nice high end. It's a little bit more at $100,000, but it's um, pretty great. It's the Fleetwood Flare 35R. So let's go check it out. Okay, I'm excited to show you this one. This is the Heartland, Heartland Milestone 377 bunkhouse. What I really like about this one is that it's kind of mid bunk, which makes for a really cool layout because then you get to use the back of the RV as your living space, your kitchen space, you got a lot of windows. It's pretty cool, so let's go check it out.
Okay, the kids are taking a popcorn break and I wanted to talk to you a little bit while they're sitting here on some other ideas to consider when you're looking for a family RV. One is that an RV is just like a house, but on wheels. And so one of the things that kind of blew our mind when we first got our RV is that you can just take the furniture out and put new furniture in. And like I said before, you want to consider the weight issue and make sure your furniture is not too much heavier because they try to keep RV furniture pretty light. But you've got some wiggle room there, so you can just take it out. Um, so that means you can get couches that are a little bit bigger, or in our case, we never ate inside our RV. So it was a big waste of space for us to keep the dinette in there. They're only seat four or six at best. So we took that out, we put two sofas in, that really gave us a lot more seating, and then we used some bows for sleeping as well. So keep that in mind when you're looking at RVs, especially if it's an older model, that if it doesn't work for you with the furniture that's got in there, you can rearrange. There are some really great ideas out on the internet, and one of my favorite accounts to follow is on Instagram called RV Fixer Upper, all one word. This lady works magic in RVs and makes them look beautiful, so you should go check her out for sure. I'll put a link down to her Instagram below. She doesn't know I'm sending you there, but I cannot get enough of her stuff. So just keep an open mind when you're looking at RVs, just like when you're looking at houses. You can use the space any way you want. You're really looking for the floor, sp the floor plan and the layout, and then you can take the furniture out and do different things, maybe putting in a triple bunk instead of a double bunk, maybe putting in a sofa or taking out a sofa. There's all sorts of things you can do. Okay, come on guys. Okay guys, now we're gonna show you one that we're pretty excited about. It can sleep up to 12 people in a bumper pool. It's the Keystone, Aerolite. Keystone Dutchman Aerolite. So let's go check it out. What's cool about it is you can do, it's got three double beds. That's awesome. A bathtub. Pretty good sized bathroom with floor space. And then these beds all go up. So you can have more floor space for the kids to play down there when you're not sleeping. How cool is that? The kitchen is it has a good use of space. When we lived full time in an RV in our fifth wheel, we lived in the Jayco Eagle Premier. This is the new version of it. It's actually called the North Point, and this is the <laughs> this is the North Point 379 DB FS HS. Yeah. So it's actually a really cool model. I'm excited to show it to you. So let's go check it out. Okay, so outdoor kitchens are on a lot of RVs, and they're really cool because. For one thing, we did most of our cooking and eating outside. But we've also seen some really creative uses of this space where they take it out and use it for other things. We used ours like a pantry. So let's go inside and check it out. Okay, so first of all, it's got a fireplace. And you might think having a fireplace in an RV is a gimmick, but it's actually not. These cut up a lot of heat and are really nice to have. Pretty sweet, huh? It's got a lot of great storage. It's got your sofa your dinette, but check this out, you guys. This huge pantry. That's cool. This is amazing. Um, now, it does have an island. Like I said, I sometimes think these are, they get in the space, you don't have as much floor space, but you make up for it back here in the back. This, this bunkhouse is a really interesting layout. So look at all of this floor space. And then you can make this sofa to sleep too. You've got a bunk. And then you've got this cool oh, loft bunk. So you've got tons of floor space. You've got some Great storage here, goes really deep above the kitchen. Oh yeah. And then you've got another, you know, TV hangout room for the kids. You can put a rug down, the kids can play on the floor, and check this oh. out. Another bathroom. And this is really nice. It's got a full, it's a full-size bathroom back here in the back. So you have two uh -huh. full-size bathrooms in this bedroom. That's amazing. So now let's go check out the bedroom. Here, washer dryer hookups. You can get these shelves taken out and a washer dryer put in, which if you're a family in an RV, that is 
that is really nice to have. I really enjoy having that. So, so this is the Jayco North Point. Some really great models coming out of Jayco for families. Okay, we're excited to show you this one because check out that price tag. Brand new, 22,000. So obviously if you were looking for used, you might be able to get it cheaper. Than, obviously you'd be able to get it cheaper than that. This is the Coleman CTS 295QB. So it sleeps up to 10, I think. And I think it's a pretty cool model. It's, it's compact, so you could fit into, you know, your national parks. You're never gonna have to worry about that parking. And so why don't we go inside and give you a tour? Okay, come on in. And like a lot of models for travel trailers, you've got your front bedroom. Now it doesn't have a lot of space, but that's okay. You're trying to stay compact. You get your TV, some good storage there. You've got your sofa and you have a big dinette, you quite a few. Your kitchen, a lot of floor space. Just one full size bathroom with a big tub. That's a pretty deep tub too. That might be 8 to 12 inches. And then back here is a really cool layout. It's got one, two, three full, or three bunks that are good and deep. You can see that. And then you've got this, these little seats that Elijah's sitting on that convert to each to beds. And then a little bit more storage and a place to put your TV. What we like about this is you could actually build just one more bunk there and you could have a triple bunk. Really good space. Incredibly roomy, incredibly roomy for how long it is. For only being 32 feet, you can really fit a lot of people here. Um, our full family could technically fit in this short travel trailer. Pretty cool. Okay guys, we saved the best for last. This is our dream RV. It's a Class A. It's a Class A motorhome. It's the Thor RAF 4000 and it sleeps 10. And it's incredible. It has two full bathrooms, washer dryer. Let's go check it out. Okay, here we go. First thing that we love about this RV is just the finishes are incredibly nice. And uh, it's got the double Slides. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Watch out. Oh, I don't know. It's got the double slide, so it's really big. So come Excuse on me. In. And you've got Watch out, Mike. a double loft bed right here that comes down. So that's one, two. And then you've got this really nice, huge oh, table. Nice. Banquette. Is that what those are called? That Dang has it. one, three, four, sleeping, five, six, and this huge sofa. Really nice kitchen. Really nice. everything in here. And then we've got the good size fridge and washer dryer. Super so nice. sweet. Two bunks. Pretty good size. Our son who's almost six feet tall was able to be in there. Really nice first bathroom with about what eight inch tub. So if you've got little ones who need baths. Got some shower. Oh, Just man. sweet. Beautiful. Look at all these little extra features when you're getting a dream RV. Then you've got this door slides out and a king size bed that goes up into seating, which is awesome because it not only gives you more seating but just more floor space. When you're in an RV, floor space is everything. Yeah. And then a huge closet, just enormous. And more storage right here. But here's the, the creme de la creme. The, no, it's a it's a piece de la resistance. Oh, okay. Another huge bathroom. It's just enormous. You've got your toilet over here. Double, double vanities. Sinks, double sinks. Shower. It's just incredible. Tons of storage. I mean, this is our dream RV. Now it's a Class A. It's MSRP <laughs> is about 250 grand. So no, it's actually higher than that. But. Well, even higher. So obviously, <laughs> you're gonna spend a pretty penny to get something. done at the RV show we saw some cool floor plans and models the thing to keep in mind is that there are options out there for families uh, when we were first interested in RV we just thought it wasn't possible but if we can do it with nine kids you can too so go to your local RV dealer get online check out different models and also keep your mind open because you can rearrange floor plans you can do a lot of fun stuff but either way get out there <laughs>